Hi guys, welcome to another DIY video. So on this one, I'll be installing this automatic swing gate opener for my bifold swing gate. The one I got is from Altec and it's the SW02 model. And no, I'm not affiliated with Altec in any way. This one is for medium weight gates ranging from 300 to 350 kilograms per leaf. So per leaf means per panel. So on my gate I have four panels and two uh, for each closing gate. The, the size of my gate uh, per panel or per leaf is I think about 1.2 meters each so I, a total of almost around um, 5 meters. So the package uh, comes with some hardware, uh, brackets, bolts, dyna bolts and the control box or the board two remote and of course the two swing gate openers and almost forgot there's the gate stopper and two manual override keys which we will need in case of power failure to be able to open the gate manually So the bracket needs to be assembled first and the assembly will be based on where or how the swing gate opener will be installed on your gate. In my case it's pretty straightforward but you can move the bracket around to based on your needs. Okay, so I've installed everything off camera, but before we go into that, I would just like to mention some important details on my setup. If you look under my uh, on the bottom of my gate here, you will see that I installed a U-groove track along with the rollers on my gate this is so that when the gate opens it will uh, follow it will use the track and open correctly without the u groove track and the rollers the gate will just basically open sidewards and the folding will, will not work but you do not need the Uger track and the rollers if your gate does not fold and just swings right open. You will need the gate stopper though for that. So another reason or another purpose of the Uger track is when the gate closes, uh, you won't be able to open the gate inward or outwards because the roller in the track serves as the locking mechanism okay so moving forward uh, this one is the control panel border what they call it and these are the PVC conduits I laid out for my wires again this is the UV track and then this is the PVC conduit for the right arm. Before I forget, uh, when installing the bracket and the arm to the gate, make sure they are all level. So going back to the control panel board, uh, you can see there are three sets of wires. Two coming from the swing motor swing gate openers and the last one is for the power source uh, power source I laid out a PVC conduit going through the garage outlet 
and I just installed a plug at the end and connected it to my outlet. To demonstrate what I meant earlier, so you will not be able to push the gate forward or inward or outward uh, mainly because of the swing gate opener and, and the U groove trap and rollers. So now let me demonstrate the override key. So there's a slot here on the arm where you can put in the key and turn it clockwise. Once you do that, it will unlock the string gate opener and it will allow you to freely move the gate or allow you to freely open or close the gate. So to lock, to lock the gate or the arm back, just turn it counter clockwise. So let's see what's inside the box. Okay. So here is the here is what here is the how it looks like inside the box. Not very familiar with this, but the guide says that this is the motor two. Motor 2 is the first gate that opens So this is the positive, negative, negative, positive This is according to their guide So since this is the first motor wire, I put it there Then the second wire, this one, I put it here And then the power source, which goes through here We'll go through the outlet. Okay, that's basically the setup. The remote that came with this is already pre-configured, so no need to set it up. Uh, later on, I might add a smart home gate opener, smart gate opener, which I think we'll need to connect through this thing here. So stay tuned if you want to see how that works so here's a quick demo of the gate so for a first button which opens the right arm first button first button opens or close the right gate so now let's close it. <coughs> then the so second button opens or closes both gates. the button again to close both gates and that's it for this video thank you for watching have a good one